Hi fellow birdies and welcome back to the channel. In today's cooking video we're going to be making a recipe called peanut butter chicken and this is from a website called thebigmansworld.com. Basically what you're going to need is a pound and a half of chicken breast chopped into bite-sized pieces, three tablespoons of cornstarch, a quarter cup of peanut butter, a quarter cup of poison sauce or you can also use teriyaki sauce which is what we'll be using today, three tablespoons of soy sauce, a teaspoon of sesame oil, some minced garlic and we'll also be using some water and some oil. So let's go ahead and get started cooking. So in your bowl, you're gonna add cornstarch to your chicken, and then you're gonna toss it until covered. So next thing we're gonna do is make our sauce. So into a mixing bowl, we're gonna whisk together peanut butter, about a quarter cup of teriyaki sauce, about three tablespoons of soy sauce, and about one teaspoon of sesame seed oil. We're also gonna add our minced garlic, and also we're gonna add about half a cup of water. Once you've added all your ingredients, you're gonna whisk to combine. The next thing you're going to do is cook your chicken over some oil for about four to five minutes until you can see it is done right here. And then you'll continue to cook it for another four to five minutes as it cooks. And make sure that you get all the chicken coated in the sauce. After about five minutes, this is what it should look like. You can see the sauce has thickened and it's absorbed into the chicken and it's now ready to eat. So all you need to do is garnish with sesame seeds and green onions and it'll be done. We'll be back with you guys soon for a taste test. Hi, hello birdies. And welcome back. Mm -hmm. We are now ready to taste test our peanut butter chicken. Now I garnished it with green onions and sesame seeds and we're just gonna try it and see how we like it. So, bon appetit. Mmm. Mm. Definitely an interesting combination. Now, it doesn't have peanut butter, but it's mixed with other sauces like sesame, um, soy sauce, and, and teriyaki. But the flavor is definitely like very salty, but it's distinct peanut butter. Like, you can taste it but you taste other saucy flavors with it. Hi fellow birdies and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing another cooking recipe and this one involves a Greek yogurt cheesecake but this actually does not use cream cheese in any way sort of form. Instead what the big magic is is this package of sugar-free vanilla instant pudding or pie mix. Now this is actually a pretty popular recipe and I've been wanting to try it out for a while just to see if it's as good as regular cheesecake. So we're going to make it today and see how it turns out. For this recipe, you're going to need three eggs, about three cups of Greek yogurt, okay. three tablespoons of stevia or sucralose or whatever sweetener you have, a tablespoon of vanilla, and of course an entire package of sugar-free instant vanilla pudding. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take this mixing bowl and add in our eggs, sugar, substitutes, and extra. Once we've added those into the bowl, we're going to whisk it with this. The next thing we're going to add is our yogurt, and then we will add the dry pudding mix. Now, I couldn't find cheesecake flavor for this mix, but I did find vanilla. But you can use, like, other different flavors too if you want to, but this is the closest I can find. Now we're going to whisk to combine. And once you're done whisking, it should look something like this. I'll set it to a springform pan. I've got a seven inch springform pan now sprayed and we're gonna add it to the pan. I'll tell you guys, this is super thick so you gotta be very careful when you're putting it in here. Now once you have this in the pan, you are gonna wanna make sure to spread it out evenly so that when it bakes, it'll look good. Now that we have the sprout in the pan, we're gonna put it in the oven for about 30 minutes until it's done. All right guys, we're now taking it out of the oven and this is what it looks like after about 30 minutes. So what they're coming to do next is, since it's still like a little bit jiggly, if you wanna get the best texture, the best taste, Set in the refrigerator overnight and make sure to wrap it in plastic wrap and we'll be back with you then with a taste test. Hey Hi guys. guys! We are now back with our cheesecake. Greek yogurt cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So, as you guys saw in the video, it's made of uh, like a bunch of weird ingredients you wouldn't even expect. It doesn't even contain like cream cheese or anything. So, we're gonna see how this compares to like actual cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And I got like a little like maple leaf cookie on top of it. So... So bon it's appetit. like there. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. It's definitely very soft. Like it's not quite par up the cheesecake texture, mm -hmm. but but I love the hint of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Kind of, I get a little bit of lemon taste. Do you get that? Mm mm. Like. I would have used 
the cheesecake uh, flavored jello first, but they didn't have it, so I had to use vanilla. I'm kind of curious what it would be like with the cookie. Mmm. Definitely a good cookie. Let's see. Birdies, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process of making a delicious recipe called Lazy Enchiladas. So, it's been a tag a while back, and it's very easy, very good to put together. For the family, we don't have time, and honestly, it's definitely a game changer for my heart. So, in order to make these, you're going to need a box of taquitos, you can use beef as well if you want to, but I ended up getting chicken and cheese. You're going to need a 10-ounce jar of green... We're going to be taking this baking dish and we're going to be spraying it with some canola oil, which you see right here. We're going to take our box of taquitos and layer them in the pan. Now that we have the taquitos in the pan, we're going to wait for the oven to finish preheating and then we will put them in the oven for about 10 minutes. Alright, the taquitos are now out of the oven after 15 minutes. And what you're going to do next is take your jar of enchilada sauce, which you see right here, and pour it all over the taquitos. About a cup of Mexican blended shredded cheese and sprinkle on top of the taquitos. But don't be afraid to use more than one cup if you really love cheese. Out of your cheese, you're gonna pop this back in the oven for another 15 minutes at 375, and it will be all done. After 15 minutes, this is what your dish should look like. Lazy enchiladas, all done. You can add whatever toppings you want to these. And, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying to try out something that's probably trending on TikTok. It's called lazy enchiladas. You take some taquitos, some enchilada sauce, some Mexican cheese, Hmm. That's yeah, very cheesy. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some of that sour cream added in. Yeah, I always you know, like taquitos. Not that it's tacos, but I always like them. But with the extra you know, cheese and just a little bit of sauce, I'm definitely liking this. Definitely liking this. Here's the inside. I'm definitely adding this to my plate if I go to the store. Now, am I going to the, you know, if I'm going to like a buffet or something? Now, this rice for like, you know, frozen stuff is pretty good. Prefer the enchiladas though. The moment. It's a close call, but I'm going to say not quite. So I'm going to, you know, rate this an 8.5 out of 10. Very tasty. It's cheesy. Got you know, a little bit of sauce. I like the you know, sour cream mixed in with it. Let's see now. And of course, like it doesn't taste like tequila. It tastes like you know, enchiladas. But hey, yeah, that's just me. So like I said, eight out of five, or eight and a half out of ten. Let's see it. Would definitely eat again. All right, like I said, I'm gonna finish the rest off camera. I'll see you folks in the next video.